Hello, I am Father Peter Ling, a Redemptorist Vocation Director from Washington, D.C. Welcome to the Gospel Reflection for the 19th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us be attentive to what Jesus said in today's Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Gird your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself, have them reclined at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch, and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared. For at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Frank Kendrick and Richard Hutton have written a book called Life Spans or How Long Things Last. In it, you discover some interesting facts. For example, you discover that the average life of a baseball shoes worn by your favorite major league star is only two months. Even more surprising you, that you discover the average life of a stick used by your favorite hockey player is only two games. You then also discover that the average life of a soldier's boots in peacetime is 15 months, while in wartime it drops to all three months. Why the life spans of certain things are shorter than we might think. The life spans of other things are quite long. For example, a beer can left behind by someone camping on the mountain would still be there 80 years from now. Or a leather shoes left behind at the same site will be there 50 years from now. Finally, the average rock that from the crowd would still be there 1,000 years from now. But whatever it is, a hockey stick, a beer can, or a rock, Kendrick and Hutton assure us that it will eventually disappear, for nothing lasts forever. And what is true of hockey stick, a beer can, and rock is true of human beings. Dear brothers and sisters, we too, we too will eventually disappear. None of us will last forever. And I think that's precisely the point that Jesus makes in today's gospel. That's why he warned us, gird your loins and light your, la your lamps. You also must be prepared for at an hour you do not expect 
the Son of Man will come. Although Jesus is referring here is his second coming, theologians assure us that his words may be taken into senses. In the narrow sense, they refer to the ends of the world. In the wider sense, however, they refer to the ends of our own life. And it is for the end of our own life or our death that we must be especially prepared. Like Jesus said, all we know is that it will come. We will not live forever. Nothing and no one lasts forever. Today's gospel invites us to ask ourselves that how well we are preparing ourselves for that day when our life on this planet will come to an end. The today, today gospel also invites us to ask ourselves if we were to die tonight, how ready would we be faced to God? And if our answer to that question leaves something to be desired, then we can be sure that Jesus is speaking to us in a special way through today's gospel. He is saying to you and to me, be like servants who await their master's return. You also must be repaired for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. I think Jesus say that not to scare us, not to threaten us, but he wants us to be ready. He wants us to be alert. He wants us to be truly who we are. The question is, are we preparing? Are we alert? Are we ready? Are we ready to be face to Jesus? Technically, we think that we may not be ready to see Jesus. We may not be preparing for the second coming of Jesus. We still have so many things to do and fulfill. We are afraid to talk about death. However, practically, we are ready as we live and fulfill the word of God. We live mindfully as we try to resist temptation every day. We are also preparing ourselves to meet Jesus as we strive to carry out our daily duties, whatever it is, to the best of our ability. And indeed, we have also met Jesus at Mass in His Word and in His real presence in the Eucharist. So you and me, we hope that at a certain point, we can say we are preparing for that hour that we don't expect. And Jesus come and call us home. St. John Newman, as we know that he had a sudden death. He died on the street of Philadelphia. However, he became the first male saint in the United States. Did he really know his time to go home? Was he awake and ready? Did he gird his loins and light his lamps? I think yes, he did. He was always ready and gird his loins when serving his flock wholeheartedly. He stayed awake as he lived intimately with Jesus in the Eucharist and pursued the holiness. He met God every day, every single day in his prayer life, especially in the poor immigrants. He was ready to meet the Lord while carrying out his episcopal duties as a servant. May St. John Newman pray for each one of us to learn from his example, to take Jesus' word to our heart. Gird your loins and light your lamps. Be like servants who await their master's return. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. So dear brothers and sisters, once we wholeheartedly serve the Lord in others through our duty, we are preparing and be ready. Don't be panicked. For even a sudden death come to us, 
lie to St. John Newman, then that death could become a blessing for us. We will hear the Lord say to us, Faithful and wise servants, come and enjoy your reward that prepare for you from eternity. Nothing in this world lasts forever. However, the love for Christ and others that we hold in our heart will bring us through to eternity. When we fill our heart, our mind with love, then we are ready for that hour that we do not expect at all. For nothing will last forever, but love exists and lasts forever. Let us pray. O God, who grant us by glorious healing remedies, why still on earth to be partakers of the things of heaven? Guide us, we pray, through this present life and bring us to that light in which you dwell. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank you for joining the Redemptorist Online Preaching. We hope you will join us again next Wednesday, August 10th, for the Dennis Winnie from Washington, D.C. will be preaching. Thank you and God bless you.